All right, hey guys, welcome back to the 164 show. Uh, today we are heading out to the Kumiu Hot Rod Show, and I have my good friend here, Matt. He's from another YouTube channel called Tarmac Life, yeah. and uh, I'll put a link to his channel below. And he does car reviews, so he's joining me today to check out some uh, hot rods and uh, American muscle cars, pretty much. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to expect. So sorry, JDM fans. Um, and then we'll do a bit of montage to our drive to Kumio. It's a lovely day here in New Zealand. American fans probably won't even know what that is. But this Thunderbird is <laughs> amazing. It's quite dusty, hey, all the yeah, cars. Yeah. Back there with the Suzuki's at the back. Suzuki's at the back. This is something you don't see a lot in New Zealand. Check it out. No plans to touch the car. Man, look, check out the practical use of a classic. Oh, what are we looking at? Dodge and Yes, of course. Yeah. The history of the Zipa, I don't know. This one, I forgot its name, but it's it's example of the skiers uh, on the side. They used to, they have one in New Zealand with the red one, but it's the only other one. There's like two or three in New Zealand. <laughs> That's the name I couldn't, couldn't get as well. Alright, so we finished the shed. Now we're going to go check out the outside and probably look for the Hot Wheels stall as well. I see a lot of people carrying Hot Wheels cars. Um, so hopefully they don't take all the good stuff. Another car that I haven't seen in real life. Lincoln. Now oh, look at the interiors. Man, 
and this beauty here. Also, also for sale. $180,000. That works out to be about $110,000 USD. Yeah, so not the newest uh, Escalade either. Uh, Hollywood Die Cast. Um, Glenn doesn't want to be in the video shot, so it's just going to be me showing you some really interesting uh, Hot Wheels, and maybe I'll get a few as well. But okay, cool. Let's be, I want to show you something that's not Hot Wheels related. This is the Hollywood Diecast's uh, new trailer, uh, and look at that green light. Green lights are here, and some premium Hot Wheels here. Let's start with the green lights. Hollywood Diecast. Uh, okay, cool. So it's not cool. quite cool. Oh yes, definitely have to get one of these. Pontiac Fiber. Look at that. Rocky Firebird. Need another hand. Okay, any other interesting ones on Datsuns at the top? Green light Datsuns. Um, what else is here? Civic at the bottom and a triumph for a trans M. Do I really want this one? Why not? Okay, so oh, premiums. Matt, you seen uh, Superbirds here? Hot Rod Magazine Superbirds. Alright, 
So we are here at uh, Tim's um, store at the Crimea Hot Rod store. So Tim is one of the admins for the uh, New Zealand Hot Wheels group. And what a big selection that he has. And I'm just gonna have a quick squeeze around and show you guys some really cool ones. Maybe one or two here that I might actually acquire today, but there's so much to start off with. Um, all right, so predominantly Hot Wheels, but there is some classic Matchbox as well. I know Tim is a massive collector. Okay, we can start from here as well. Car meet, um, five car. You know, there's some older five car setups as well. I know that, one. I can't remember what the name of that one was. Oh, look, it was a uh, frog looking one. I think this is mid 2000s. Swing around, uh, look, Mustang 2 concept. It's a Lotus, maybe a good one, but I don't think it likes this project casting. Yeah, I think it's one of the first generation, first time they did a Pagani. Yeah, this is a current um, case. The 67 Camaro, the non treasure hunt. Uh, I might get one of those actually. Yeah, they were going nicely with the super. So, Willy's Galaxy mail in car. I'm very tempted with this one here, the Jeep um, $100. That's interesting. So, Tim wants uh, $25 for the Charger. That's pretty cool. And this old treasure hunt 52 Chevy treasure hunt. This is more interesting as well. Sorry, my shadow is across. All right, let's get back to actually looking at cars now, and uh, and I'll help. Stripes, the San Diego plate covers. Not a, not a huge fan of these, but it's really nicely maintained, obviously, with the Glendale um, number plate cover there. Yeah, I think so. Check it out. The, the Trans Am with the with the, the bird at the front with the bonnet. Check it out, and the number plate is 79 Bandit. I noticed that the, the letter is quite nice as well. Bondiac Trans Am. Yeah, so you can see everyone's kind of cleared out this where the stores used to be as well. So now let's also head out as well. At least we got some really cool Hot Wheels 
that I wanted. I wanted one of the another GX Challenger and the Copa Camaro that Randy had. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna head out. So hopefully you guys found that interesting and uh, look at a little bit into the hot rod and American muscle scene here in New Zealand. Uh, I believe the Kumi hot rod uh, uh, show is actually one of the biggest here in New Zealand. Uh, obviously at the biggest city, Auckland. Um, hopefully next year we can come on the Saturday. It's gonna be busier, hotter, but uh, more content, more cars, more cool cars. Cool, so thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, once again, here with my friend Matt and Tarmac Life, go check them out. And you've seen the two guys before the Hot Wheels Hollywood diecast, uh, and also Tim Beckett, who is both admins of the New Zealand, one of New Zealand Hot Wheels group. All right, thank you so much guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.